Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a video for you guys to, well basically show you how to set up your brand new iPhone. And um, if you have an Android device, I'm going to show you guys how to set up from your, so basically transfer all your data from your Android device to your new iPhone. So let's get this opened. So we've got the iPhone 12 Pro Max here. You can see there, let's take that off. So obviously, you know what you get here. So it's just a USB cable, a warranty guide, and then one Apple sticker. So that's the new um, new ever unboxing now. So you just get literally a USB cable. So it's a USB Type C to Lightning. Um, I have done an unboxing video. You can check that out. I'll uh, leave it in the description box below for you guys. So if we power it on, there you go. So you got the Apple logo there. The iPhone is just, it is really nice, so shiny, it just looks very, very nice quality. Surgical green, surgical grade stainless steel, uh, very nice. So you got this already, so I'm just going to quickly put this here. Just want to quickly show you guys, so you, on your Android device, what you need to do is download um, move to iOS and just make sure obviously it's by Apple so you can see there so I've got that ready so what I'm going to do is set this up first so English and then just get the uh, country so United Kingdom United Kingdom so setting the language and then set up manually because obviously we haven't got another iPhone to do that, so we have to set up manually. So connect to the internet. Let me just join that. There you go. So it's going to take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And at the same time, I'll just quickly really leave this here in shot for you guys as well. So if we just move those up here. So this has been updated, so it says ability to continue using your Android phone while your data is copied securely to your iPhone. So that's a new update they've done compatible with Android 11. So what it transfers is your contacts, message history, camera, photos and videos, web bookmark, mail accounts, calendar. So you got things like that. So you can choose to migrate your data, your new iPhone, create a private Wi-Fi network. So yes, yeah, just basically move all these things. So we'll just quickly get to here. So continue, set up later, create a passcode. So I'm just going to quickly do that on later. Don't use, don't use. Okay, obviously, I'm going to set all that up. So if you do, obviously, for this video purpose, I just want to make it easy and quick. But obviously, if you did want to do that, you can just make it. So this is the part that you will need. So if I just get that closer here. So you'll see here, uh, it will say move data from Android. So you press that one. So here it says, if you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. Okay, so press continue. Enter this code. So now what we're gonna do is open it up. So here, use the app to copy messages. So press continue, agree, allow, allow. Allow. So obviously you have to allow all these so it can get transferred to continue to uh, so turn Wi-Fi, that's fine. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. So that should be, yep, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to do that. Connected, so now we go back. Location, okay. Okay, so there you go, find your code. So continue, so obviously the code's here, so just type in the code that you've got. And then move to iOS. Continue to connect the Wi-Fi network created by your, uh, continue to connect to the Wi-Fi network created by your iOS device. So iOS 91032. 
so device to use move to iOS connect so just showing connection successful I'm just gonna quickly zoom that in for you guys so hopefully you should be able to uh, see that all clearly Yeah, so you can see there it says preparing on the iPhone 12. So they are waiting for so on your Android, choose what you would like to copy. So, camera roll, contacts, messages, Google account that's all you get. So, continue. So, there's so it's going to calculate time remaining, and we just basically wait. So, it's saying it's going to take roughly about 32 minutes, 31 minutes ish. So now we just wait for all that to get transferred. So that's uh, quite a simple way. They made it a lot easier to get everything from your Android to your iPhone, which is uh, really good. So basically, we're just going to wait for the timer to end. So I'm just going to really come back. So on the Samsung here saying transfer is complete. Your data has been copied to the new device, iOS device. Some items were not copied, such as purchased apps or media or media that is saved within apps so that's fair enough uh, recycle the Android device you can recycle this device for free at any participating Apple store and that's not a problem so done there so now that phone is now finished so we can move that away and here so now it's just saying moving items into place so you just got a few more minutes there so this is my first time as well doing the move from an Android device to iPhone and I thought I'll do it with you guys as well just to show you how it works. So it's really simple. I'm glad that um, Apple has done an app for Android devices to easily move your stuff from that phone to this phone. Makes life a lot more easier instead of you manually transferring everything over. So this makes life a lot easier now. So you can see that that's transfer now complete. So continue setting up the iPhone. So now we can add the Apple ID. So I'm just going to quickly enter all that. So I've just entered the Apple ID. So now it's asking for the two factor authentication. So they just sent a message to the phone number. So you just literally agree to the terms. So now it's just gonna take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. So I gotta say it's very smooth how um, moving your data from an Android device to an iPhone, how easy it is. I'm glad they made it a lot easier. So now it's just keep your phone up to date, get the latest updates, security improvements, that's fine. So I can set that up later, screen time, that's fine. Yeah. True tone, yeah. You can either have it on light or dark. Me personally, I like the dark one. Or if you really like the white, the lighter one, you can get the light one. It's all up to you really. So it'll continue with the light. Standard is fine. Swipe up to get started. And there you go, so that's all sorted uh add your android device apps from the app store add. okay so you just gotta sign in again with the apple id so i just signed in there so that's all sorted so hopefully i'll have um, all the contacts so that's all in there which is all good and i think i should have all that so yeah so everything's been transferred over which is good and uh, I believe there should be a software update. So I'm going to quickly, uh, yes, there is uh, checking for update. 
so there you go so iOS 14.2 so that is available on the new iPhone so that's how you set the that's how you would set it up if you are using your Android device so hopefully that helps you guys out as well thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe